Hello friends and today I'm here to tell you more about power sharing. So the previous time I told you about the accommodation in Belgium and interestingly enough when a Euro when all the European countries came together to form a European Union, Brussels was chosen as the capital. You might know and guess the reason. That is because it had a very innovative form of government and it portrayed how to accommodate people of different uh, uh, people of uh, different cultures, traditions together in one linguistic body. So you might be thinking why am I holding this copy? I am holding this copy to show you uh, different types of powers. But before that I'm going to tell you the prudential and the moral reasons for power sharing. So the prudential reasons for power sharing are it reduces the possibility of conflict between the social groups. Of course as you have seen in Belgium then what does power sharing do more? It uh, ensures political order. Third, the tyranny of the majority is not just oppressive for the minority, which lets, leads to the ruin of the majority, as you have seen in Sri Lanka. What are the moral reasons? It is the spirit of democracy. It keeps up the spirit of democracy. Federalism keeps us the you know, power sharing keeps up the spirit of democracy. A legitimate government is the one in which the people, by participating in the uh, in the uh, system get a stack in the system and power sharing is uh, sharing the power with those who are affected by its exercise so you see this is what is power sharing you know uh, prudential reasons and moral reasons why should power sharing be practiced now we are going to discuss what are the different types of power sharing so you can see this notebook this is vertical vertical distribution of powers that is distribution of powers between the different levels of the government and this is horizontal distribution of uh, uh, the powers between different organs of the government so first let's start by you know the horizontal distribution of power a straight line so what does the straight line represent that every organ will have the same power so each organ will have the same power this will ensure that no uh, organ can exercise unlimited power. Each organ will check the other organ, each other. And so this would result in a system of checks and balances. So this is, uh, this is uh, horizontal distribution of power is also known as a, power, a distribution of power and a system of checks and balances. So for example, in India, let us see for judiciary, is uh, the judge is elected by the president but it can see the exercise of powers by the president as well and though government officials and presidents and prime ministers exercise their power they are answerable to the state assemblies and the legislatures so this is the horizontal distribution of power now let us go to another plane and go to the vertical distribution of power that means unequal distribution of power one is high and one is low in this, the power is divided among the different organs of the uh, different levels of the government. The central government, which is a uh, common government for whole of the nation, and a state government, which is the regional or the provincial government. So, this central government exercises more authority as compared to the state government. But the central government cannot order the state government. The constitution clearly lays the powers of both levels of the government. Hence, uh, each of them can uh, exercise autonomy and can work as autonomous units. So, for example, uh, Belgium is also an example of this, like state government and the central government. And another, in which we don't need the notebook, of course, is the community type government, in which the government, there is a, a community type government. So, the power is divided among the people of different community. One. Second, the power might be given, uh, there might be government, uh, there might be government provisions to give power to the minorities and the women, like in our legislature. And through this, uh, it, uh, it, there's a fair representation, uh, chance of representation by the minorities as well. So this is done in India, as you have seen, one third of the seats are reserved for women in the uh, panchayat and it, all of them and for the STs, STs and OBC seats are reserved in our parliament. So this system is practiced in our country. And in the Belgium you might have seen the community type government though uh, the power was div uh, divided amongst the people of a community. 
then the last is you know the power sharing can also be seen as the way political parties pressure groups and other people influence the government and so i think i have completed the chapter of power sharing gender religion and caste so from the childhood you might have you know the boys and the girls are brought up to believe that the girls are supposed to do all of the household work and the boys will go outside and work for earning it's not that this is biological social division is an hierarchical uh, it's it's an hierarchy that girls will do you know all of the household work and boys will do uh, the work to earn it's not biological but it's based on social expectations then it's not that the boys cannot do the household work it's just that you know they do not want to do that they are brought up to believe that this is the work of girls they have to look after the children and do all of the household work moreover if these jobs are paid for then the uh, then the then the males are ready to take up these as their occupations so this symbolizes the sexual division of power that is the all the household work has to be either done by the women or arranged women of the household or either arranged by them through domestic helpers this is a very common thinking going on in our indian society which is still a patriarchal society so not only this in the public in the public you know the participation of women in the public was very less and slowly and they were not allowed to participate in voting or in the decision maker or anything then suddenly feminist movements began to develop and uh, women started campaigning for equal rights they wanted equal rights and uh, right to vote like right to take up any occupation as pursue their career right to get educated and many other things and right to equality more radical women were even demanding for equality in the personal life these all movements in which you know equality was grant uh, was demanded for the uh, women is known as feminist movement any person who believes any boy or girl irrespective of boy gender any person who believes in equality for men and women is a feminist today women are working in what not profession they are engineers they are scientists they are astronauts they are doctors they are civil engineers they are, they are pursuing so many of careers but still there is some force that is drawing them behind and that is what is there and uh, our society is still a patriarchal society that is the uh, head of the family will be a male and by some of the features you can see how women are still lagging behind the men first the literacy level the literacy level of very uh, of women is less as compared to men it's just 54 as compared to 76 amongst the men and many of the girls drop out from the school it's not that they do not perform well as as well as boys if not in bet, if not better in some areas it's because their parents prefer to spend their resources on the education of their boys rather than their girls moreover girls Uh, there are very less girls who go out for their higher education or higher studies then in their career what happens to them in their career they are denied equal wages even if they do the same work exactly in all regards then also they are given uh, less wages this was actually uh, reformed by the equal wages act um, but still women are given uh, less and 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 on an average a woman works 1 hour 1 and a half hour more than a man but still it's not recognized i hope that you have understood this chapter and if you want to know more about this chapter you've got to see my other videos as well thank you